when summer arrives in Nebraska, it's easy to be convinced that every inch of this state is covered by fertile fields. Its rows of corn alone seem to go on forever. In 2013, farmers here planted 100 million acres of this one crop, the largest amount since 1933. But there is a place in Nebraska where the farm fields come to an end. A place where there's nothing to see but dunes of sand. It's an area known as the Nebraska Sand Hills. Here, rolling dunes cover 20,000 square miles of land, making this the largest formation of dunes in the Western Hemisphere. The Sand Hills were created during the last ice age, when this region of North America was suffering from severe drought. As winds blew across the dry earth, great dunes of sand were formed. Later, thick grass and plants took root, stabilizing the sand and creating this remarkable landscape. But these dunes play a key role in making Nebraska an agricultural powerhouse. They're part of a complex ecosystem that is responsible for supplying Nebraska farmers and millions of people across the Great Plains with the precious water they need to survive. That's because under the sand hills is a geological formation that contains vast amounts of water. It's so big, it stretches under the states of South Dakota, Wyoming, Nebraska, Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, and even New Mexico. It's like a giant underground lake and is called the Ogallala Aquifer. The impact of this aquifer on the American economy is astounding. 30% of all groundwater used for irrigating crops in the U.S. comes from this one water source. Scientists discovered the Ogallala Aquifer in the 1890s, but even though they knew it was there, farmers didn't have an effective way to get that water out of the ground and onto their crops, which is one reason they suffered hard during a famous period known as the Dust Bowl. In the 1930s, farmers across western Nebraska and throughout the Great Plains were overplowing their fields after years of good rain and productive yields. When the rain stopped, the winds started to howl, picking up giant clouds of dust since the grass to hold it in place had been plowed under. It destroyed entire fields, blinded cattle, and ruined machinery, bringing farmers to their knees. One farmer later described what happened. The birds fluttered, the rabbits ran, and the sky turned black. We thought it was a twister. The dust lay so thick in the back bedroom, we just moved the mattress into the middle so we could sleep. Many Nebraskan farmers lost their farms to clouds of dust, even though those same farms stood right on top of one of the greatest sources of fresh water in the world. At the time, the technology to tap that water successfully had not yet been invented which is why the Great Plains was often called the Great American Desert. 